Hey guys, this is the first in a new series of videos called Med Mnemonics. These will be really short, bite-sized uploads highlighting helpful memory tricks. Let's start off with Meckel's diverticulum, briefly highlighting what it is, its clinical features, investigations and management, and then move on to some of these mnemonics. Now this is the most common congenital abnormality of the gastrointestinal tract. It represents the embryological remnant of the vitello-intestinal duct which joined the fetal midgut and the yolk sac. It can contain ectopic tissues like gastric and pancreatic mucosa. Although it's mostly asymptomatic, this feature means that acid-secreting gastric cells cause ulceration, making it an important differential for painless rectal bleeding. Rarely, this can cause perforation and peritonitis. It should be investigated like any patient with lower gastrointestinal bleeding. Specifically though, a Meckel scintigraphy scan using technetium should also be considered. All symptomatic or complicated cases of Meckel's diverticulum must be surgically resected. Patients who are hemodynamically unstable might also require blood transfusion. Let's move on to a mnemonic. To help you remember some of these facts about Meckel's diverticulum, think of the rule of two. It occurs in 2% of the population. Of those, 2% become symptomatic. Two times more males are affected than females. In those that are symptomatic, it typically presents before two years old. It is located two feet from the ileocecal valve. It is usually two inches long. Two thirds of people have ectopic mucosa. Finally, there are two main types of ectopic tissue commonly present, which are gastric and pancreatic mucosa. Thank you for watching Townsend Teaching. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can watch out for new content, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel.